<laughs> Hammer time! <laughs> <laughs> oh crap, I'm recording, okay. <laughs> oh shit, I'm recording. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you guys suck ass. Okay, anyways. Alright, we're starting off where we left off. Let's see what we got happens. Oh shit, running into something. Alright. That was bright. Is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... <laughs> what did you call it? The Inner Sanctum. The Inner Sphincter? What? Chamber, Daniel, and it lies <laughs> the finally. In fact, the it lies beneath the very stone the big of the Almost empty roll. Do I need to throw this hammer over there? No! I thought it was kind of funny. Alright, we're going to start where we left off. Cause I can. What the fuck are you playing? Amnesia. The fuck. I got a hammer. And it's hammer time. Chris, give me your laptop. <laughs> I hope nobody can fucking hear that. I hope they can. Why? It's recording. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guarantee you. All right, laboratory. Wine cellar. Let's go lab first. <laughs> Alright, the other children cheered him on. His name, voice, in a steadily rising pace, urging him to do it. Am I really doing this? The young boys, though, stuck in that book? I don't know, it's quite good book. Okay. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> you guys suck ass, seriously. <laughs> Alright. <sighs> Anyways. Let's see what's around here. That's fucking creepy, I'm not going down there. I'll go down there in a second, chili jets. What the fuck? What the f- What? That hole is like, farting at me? Like what? Alright, let's see. Nothing in that corner. I guess we have to go over there. Cause I feel like it. Chill out, man. All right. Anyways, let's start later. Oh fuck! Kinda. Holy shit! That was great. There should be more coupons. Uh, I'm not reading that. Oh, that's right, I have a one part lantern. I have a Alright. I think I might just scrap this. No, I'm not gonna scrap it. Fuck. Just <laughs> oh, dude. Why is it as soon as I start recording, you guys start being assholes? <laughs> Alright, so there wasn't anything in the laboratory. <laughs> Traveling to Dover meant going through Canterbury. He made sure to pay a visit to avoid sense of guilt or neglect of family. <laughs> what? Get away from her. Don't touch her. Or should I? Give me that ass. Alright. <laughs> Alright, 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 alright. And there's another Oh, okay. Oh, it's locked, okay. Um. Sorry. 
Alright, let's see what's up here then. Oh, I don't need that up anymore. Can't go through that. Can't go through there. Oh, 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 what's down there? Not going down there. Archives? Paper. Uh, he felt the kitchen floor tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick into his stomach. Hazel reminded, remained hidden in fear she too would be punished. Alright, well that's kind of creepy. Alright, we're back after technical difficulty. What's in this room? Nope. I still have 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he no. told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, no. the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. <clears throat> that was interesting. That room had nothing in it. Let's start in here. Alright, get out of my way, chair. Oh, tinderbox. Alright, nothing else. Go in here. Oh, that went nowhere. Okay, what does this place say? Study. Shirts. Nothing. Nothing. My amount of oil. Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty-nine. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, books. 
nothing. Oh, Ooh, tinderbox. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Did I open these? Yes, I did. Alright. A lot of oil. Can't see shit. Me too. <laughs> oh, tinderbox. Oh, holy balls, I just shit my pants. <laughs> 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 oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I gotta hold on, hold on. Alright. <laughs> oh my god. Who put that in there? Interesting. Oh, shit, go over there. Alright. So, let's see here. Can I light this? Oh, no way! Alright. Alright, I seriously can't see anything, so we're gonna just creep. My mouth is kinda fucking up. Alright. Alright, open, open. I'm taking this chair with me. I'm scared. I'm scared. Fuck off? Oh. Uh, I don't like that noise. I don't like that noise. Oh, holy shit. Holy shit. Um, wait, wait. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. Did I go in here? Yes, I did. Okay. So that was locked. Okay, I'm going Can't see. Oh, it's rock. Can I have this rock? No. Okay. Ooh, oil. Thank you. Okay. Oh, whoops. Fantastic. Fan fucking tastic. Okay. Alright. Turn about uh, Oh shit, what the fuck? What the fuck was that? Why am I freaking out? 17th of May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Uh, no one <laughs> I don't want to walk this way. I guess I have to. Oh, this might not Where are you doing? It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. Oh, God. 
and I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. Grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Alright, and there's where I think I'm going to cut it. I'll see you in the next one.